In this video, I'm going to give you an honest appraisal of the Nera Precision Laser. I'll talk you through when I've used it, how I've used it, whether I've seen any results, and whether I intend to keep using it. Hello and welcome to Beauty by Des, or welcome back. So what is the Nera Laser? Well, it's an anti-aging at-home device designed to reduce fine lines and wrinkles by stimulating collagen production. And it's specifically for targeting areas around the eyes and the mouth. Now, how it does that is it transmits heat through the dermis, which is the layer of skin which wrinkles and sags. And by stimulating the dermis, it's supposed to respond by repairing the collagen, allegedly, and lifting the skin, thereby improving the look of sagging and wrinkles. Well, that's the theory. Now, this has a small tip, and the idea is that this one in particular, which is the precision, is good for targeting the smaller areas around the eyes. Now, this laser is FDA cleared, and according to Nera, it is clinically proven to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. Nera also says that it uses the same laser technology as you would find in a clinic to build natural collagen at a fraction of the cost without the harsh effects and downtime. Now, just to say, I'm not an esthetician, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a medical professional, so I cannot vouch for any of these claims. All I can do is give you my honest opinion. So I'll link down below for you my first attempt at using it, which was back in September 2023. Now, unfortunately, I had to stop using it about a month later because I had an eye operation. And you'll see a little bit of that in the images I'm going to show you later on in the video. So do stay till the end because that's where I'm going to show you what effect, if any, it's had on my skin. But because I had this eye operation, I really didn't feel like using it around my eyes for a little while. So I thought I'm just going to stop using it completely until I've healed. And that took about four to six weeks. And I had the operation in October. So I started again in November. But actually, I decided at that point that I wasn't going to bother with the areas around my eyes. Because the lines that really bother me are these, the nasal labial folds and the marionette lines and also my sagging jowls. Now, interestingly, some of my fellow YouTubers had different results. So Tamara of Tamara's Timeless Beauty and Cindy of Beyond 50 Skin didn't really see any improvements. However, Angie of Angie Hot and Flashy did, and she specifically said that she saw it in her marionette lines and her nasal labial folds, which was why I thought I would just concentrate on those two areas. Now, I'm just going to show you how it works because it is really quick and easy to use. You turn it on here, and then you've got different levels and you can press this button to reduce or increase them. And I got up to level four, which was about as much as I could bear. If you go a little bit too high, all you get is a sort of instant burning sensation, but you don't get actually any burnt skin at all. You just take it away and that's absolutely fine. And then what you do is you press and hold this against your skin. I'm not gonna do it now. And you just, you just press and hold and you go here and then you work your way down like this. If you're doing your nasal labial folds, or you come down here to do your marionette lines or under your jaw here, or you can do around your eyes like so. And it's literally just press and press the press down, press the button and lift, press down and press the button and lift and so on. Now, once you've done that, you then can, although you don't have to, apply their hyaluronic acid serum. So I just applied this where I'd used the laser, which was absolutely fine. It's a very nice serum. You don't have to use this. You can use any hyaluronic serum, I would say, but you can buy it along with the laser itself. So now, how did I get on after 120 days? Well, let me show you the images. So first, let's look at the full face. Now, my particularly bad or deep wrinkles are on my left side, I suppose, because that's the side I tend to sleep on. But I was really hoping that targeting my right side would show some improvement because my wrinkles are not as deep. But I think you can see, and I know the lighting isn't identical, it's very difficult for me to get the lighting identical in my little tiny shower room, but I've done the best I can. I think you'll see that actually there's nothing to see here, as they say, there's been no improvement. And I think if you look at the other photos where I'm facing on the right or I'm facing on the left, there is absolutely no difference at all. It certainly doesn't seem to have got any worse, but I don't think they have got any better. So there you have it. 
that is my 120 day report back on the Nera Precision Laser. Now I'm just going to mention there is a Nera Pro Laser which I don't have which has a bigger head which is meant to be specifically for the marionette lines and the nasal labial folds and possibly the jowls as well. But I suppose all it means is it's quicker to use the, the Pro rather than the Precision. But I was still coming down quite gently, quite systematically, one wrinkle at a time as it were. And as you can see it didn't seem to make any difference to my wrinkles. And yes it might have been quicker using the Pro but I didn't I don't think it would have made any difference to the actual wrinkles. It might just have been quicker. Now as I mentioned Cindy in particular of Beyond 50 Skin has just done an update on her Nera so I will link that below for you as well because I think it's really worth a watch. Now she's quite a bit younger than me. She's I think in her mid to late 50s and I'm 69. So I think it might be interesting for you to see if you are interested in Nera to see how she got on and she actually collaborated on that last video with a, an even younger woman, a woman in her 40s whose name I've forgotten, sorry, but the video will be down below for you, both videos will be down below for you. So let me know in the comments, have you tried the Nera? Has it worked for you? Or have you tried any other devices that you think would be good for wrinkles? Are we searching for a holy grail that we can never find? I must say I am quite interested in the Zip Halo which some of my friends on YouTube have tried. So let me know if you've tried that and have you seen any improvements because I like the idea that it can lift sagging jowl <laughs> because who wouldn't like their sagging jowls lifted? And if you've enjoyed this video I'd be so grateful if you'd subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell because it really helps my little channel to grow. And if you'd like to hear more from me, I have a monthly newsletter. And in that, I don't just talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle, but also music, books, podcasts, theatre, film, and all the other bits and bobs that bring us joy. And thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. It really does. And I hope you're all doing really well. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye.